you can see that it has it's been 45 minutes and it's doubled in size I put my plastic to the side over here and I got my two um, nine by five pans just I use just olive oil to spray them and I've already put um, olive oil I would say it's about a teaspoon and a half a tablespoon and a half of oil and I haven't rubbed it in yet but I'll grease my rolling pin in just a minute and I'll rub this out but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna punch this down and then split it in half so you just want to do it really gently all you want to do is just kind of punch it down like that you can kind of see it just falls down and then you grab it in the middle kind of helps you divide it and you can weigh these just if you want if you really want to be particular about how they're even <laughs> but normally what I do is I just split them in half and about half and then I smooth them out like this tuck them in and then I'll get my oil probably should just a minute ago but whatever just lay it because you're gonna lay it out and then grease your rolling pin and then real quick I'll just fold this in a little bit of oil that I have in my hands will keep it from drying out also. So now the idea is to just evenly roll this out. You don't want to do it hard. Do you want it to be some um, about six to seven inches wide and about I don't know 16 to 18 inches long. So normally what I do is I just roll it out the first initial time, flip it over, and then this is where I'll kind of shape it a little more for when I go to roll it. I just kind of, you see how it just kind of shrinks back up. And then you can just take your rolling pin and kind of square it up like that. Something about like this. And then you just, you don't want to create a lot of air pockets, so you just want to gently roll it up. Maybe every once in a while you have to try to check your sides. Because you want it to... Something along the lines of that. And then you want to fold in your ends. Again, you just want to be careful not to create any air pockets. So you just want to kind of give it a little pinch and a little fold at the same time. Fold in your ends, and then the seam. I'm not staying. I might have had a little too much oil on it. Probably the other one will do better. So kind of want to fold it and pinch it at the same time, so you don't have a blowout. We're putting it in a pan, so it won't be so bad. If you're doing it on an air pan, it would probably blow out. Something like that, and then you just. Flip it back over, put it in your hand. Sometimes I give it a little more shape. And then the other one. Roll out that oil a little more. This one probably won't be as oily. I'm just applying just even light pressure. I'm not pushing really hard at all. So once you get it about like that, typically I like to flip it over. And I'll give your square edges off. Something like that. roll it. Yeah, this one. I had a little too much oil. Probably should have, probably should have rolled, <clears throat> rubbed the oil out a minute ago so it had time to absorb into the wood. Fold in the ends. Yeah, that one's staying better. Fold in the end. Do your seam.
once you get it pretty much sealed, flip it back over, put it in your other pan. And then when I did my first rise, I just got enough foil, uh, excuse me, plastic wrap for the two pans here. So I'll just leave them sitting here for 45 minutes and then about 10 minutes before that time's up I'll preheat the oven to 400 and stick them in for 20 minutes and if you want to do if you want them to be more brown about 15 minutes of baking you take them out and do an, um, an egg wash where you just mix about two tablespoons of water to an egg white and then you, you use um, I have a couple of these just brush the egg wash on put them in there for about five more minutes and make them till they're golden brown